Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another exciting episode of Lost Horizon Fishing. Today we are back at La Jolla Shores and hopefully we'll score a yellowtail today, although we're off to a bad start because unfortunately no one, including myself, was able to make bait earlier this morning. So right now I'm trolling the Nomad and uh, hopefully I'll come across a bait school here at some point. I've got a couple of live bait rigs with me. So stay tuned, let's see what happens. Oh man, slow day today for sure. Got the wind in my face. Got the Nomad out there. Okay, at least we're at La Jolla Shores. And you never know, anything is possible. Finally, there we go. Let's see what we got here. It took quite a while to get that first fish. There it comes. Oh, it's a foul hook something or another here. Oh, looks like a calico. Not a very big one either. Woo! All right, at least we got a fish here. Oh, a lot of paddling with not much results. All right, small calico, definitely better than nothing, but yeah, morning's still, still young, 8.30. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes, all right. Yeah, maybe it's time for a water break. Uh oh, big hit, big hit. What do we got going on here? There we go, we got, we definitely got something on here, boys. Eighty feet of water. Definitely, we definitely we've got something with a little weight on it here. If it's a yellow tail. Doesn't feel like a very big one. Fishing with 50 pound braid and a 30 pound leader. Should be getting close.
right below us here. What's it going to be? I have no idea. Maybe a small yellow tail? Coming up. Oh, we got a yellowtail, boys. Woo! Yellowtail on the nomad. Bad looking fish. There we go. Stop being a girly man and try lifting some iron. Yeah, boys, this is what it's all about. I'm so psyched right now. You! All right, let's get this bad boy in the hatch. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Woo! Finally, we got a fish we can be proud of. I don't trust myself to clean this fish myself because my skills are pretty dismal. 
But my buddy Jeff, he has mad skills and he's gonna fillet this guy up right, so let's get busy. Let's do it. Did you, did you weigh him, Dan? No, what do you what do you think? About 20 pounds yeah. maybe? Yeah, it's gotta be. Good, he's nice and cold. I am ready. Go ahead and carve that bad boy here. So when a guy we're just gonna make a little cut right here, got a nice sharp knife. Study his technique here. <laughs> Cut right along the underside here. Awesome. It's gonna be a wonderful, wonderful meal here. towards the ribs, downwards all the time, just like that. How nice is it to have a neighbor that grew up in a commercial fishing family? Now, where do you uh, rate yellowtail in, in terms of uh, tasty fish? Right at the top of my list. It's a good meaty fish. Super just meaty fish, but yummy. Not, not fishy at all. And a lot of people prefer, too, they love the yellowtail collar and so forth. Look at that, look at that's that. what I'm talking about. There's a beautiful fillet. I'm gonna flip this dude and do the reverse. There's a little cut across the tail. Under this side fin, kind of a pectoral fin almost. Come down along the spine. Just on top. And it makes a huge difference to have a fish that's whole. When you cut the, when you clean these fish and they were caught an hour ago, they're a lot harder to clean. Not difficult, but more challenging. Hear that crunching? Yeah, I got him on ice pretty quickly after I caught him. With, 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 he was inside the hull of the kayak for maybe an hour, and then he spent the rest of his uh, time in the ice box. This meat looks beautiful. This is ideal, boy. Come right here and just make a little snip. Backwards here. Perfect. Always angle the knife towards the ribs so you don't waste meat. Because the knife has to be down, not level like that, you waste a bunch of meat. So. gonna do a little just real light we clean off this this is just the lining of the belly right here we just angle that knife out of an angle like that perfect and we're gonna angle this right up that way just like that and we're gonna feed the bass again 
keep these spotties around the dock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only there were some. I would just go, these are nice big steaks, just big fillets, and then once these are on the grill, you can cut these off. Oh, those guys are looking tasty. Yep. I may be, I may have to have a little yellowtail sashimi. I would be awesome. Look at that. Beautiful. There's dinner and more. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, looking delicious. Can't wait. It doesn't get any fresher than that. Mmm. Making me hungry. Oh, let's take that by first bite. Oh, man. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Well, all right, guys, it is time for this episode of Lost Horizon Fishing to come to an end. What a day out on the water. Super heavy overcast. I hate filming in overcast conditions like that. The videos just never come out that great. And to top it off, I couldn't make bait. I didn't have any little mackerels to do any live bait trolling with. It really looked like it wasn't going to happen today. Fortunately, the Nomad DTX floating minnow came through in a pinch and we scored that really nice yellowtail. It probably weighed around the, I don't know, 20 to 25 pound range. So that was a great catch and I was like super psyched to get that guy. Special thanks to my neighbor Jeff for filleting that fish up. He did an awesome job. And special thanks to my wife Annie for cooking me up a couple pieces. That thing tastes awesome. Ah, oh, it was outstanding. So hey guys, do me a favor. Smash that like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you know when the latest Lost Horizon fishing videos are released. And as always, I will see you out on the water.